is Jana Herman. I'm actually currently a master's student, a graduate student, working um, on zooplankton ecology. So with our project, we're trying to assess the larval condition after the oil spill. So on the screen here, here's an example of a larval fish. Here are a couple of eggs, and here is a, a larval crab. After the samples are collected, we bring them back and we're removing the larval fish and eggs so we can remove the guts and stuff from the larvae to look and see what they're eating. We're just trying to see if their health has been affected post oil spill. A lot of these won't get any bigger, like this amphipod here. This is its full size, but a lot of the organisms in the zooplankton are larval forms of other organisms, such as your crabs. Right here is a little crab zoea. It's an exciting field. There's always new things being discovered. I've seen thousands of samples, and I feel like every time I look into a sample, there's a new organism that I may not have seen, or it's a different shape or a different color or something, so it's really interesting.